We'll Not according the to the Ministry of Agriculture, experts who've spent several months examining evidence are convinced that video footage seen so far is probably of domestic cats and that attacks on farm animals have been carried out by dogs. Amateur video footage like this has added to the mystery of the beast of Bodmin Moor. This year, the Ministry of Agriculture decided to investigate whether a panther or puma was killing livestock, as local farmers claimed. But at a news conference in Whitehall, the two inspectors said all the footprints and kills could be attributed to dogs or local wildlife. As for the photos and video film, they weren't of big cats. This is a, a real uh, domestic cat. This is Mr. Charlie Wilson down here, a man of somewhat average stature. The animal is, is clearly not more than, than 30 centimetres uh, at the shoulder. We could find no evidence for the presence of a big cat on Bodmin Moor. We went in with an open mind to assess the evidence. We would have been just as excited as anyone else had we found something positive. But she didn't. But we didn't. Down in Bodmin, local farmers are unconvinced by the men from the ministry. I think you'll find that farmers mistrust math very much. In fact, a farmer that trusts the Ministry of Agriculture is rarer than that cat up there. We only want something done about this animal. We don't want no money. We, we want to keep what we got. The damn thing have took nearly a thousand quids worth of my stock. Some zoologists who have studied the carcasses of killed sheep are adamant that big cats are to blame, possibly former exotic pets released into the wild. The classic signs are the claw marks on the hindquarters where the animal is initially pulled down. The cat rolls underneath, goes for a throat bite, which is also um, something that dogs do not do, nor badgers for that matter. Even the government admits that the mystery of the beast of Bodmin Moor has not been solved. Samira Ahmed, BBC News. A hunt for the truth about the so-called beast of Bodmin. A recent Ministry of Agriculture inquiry concluded there was no evidence to suggest the beast existed. Only two weeks ago it seemed that the mystery of the Bodmin beast was all over, when government investigators dismissed previous photographic evidence of the alleged big cat. But the skull that these three brothers found while walking on the moor has changed all that. The zoologist who's been following the Bodmin investigation is convinced it's of a big cat, probably a leopard. It's one of them. Yeah. There's more than one out there, that's for sure. There's been both brown ones and black ones seen by very credible witnesses in the Bodmin area. And like I said earlier, we're getting sightings, credible sightings, from all over the country. The finding backs the theory that former exotic pets were released onto the moors by their owners and have been living off local wildlife and occasionally sheep. Mr Richardson will now carry out a series of tests to determine the exact species, age and gender of the animal. He's also putting together a research team which he hopes will find a definitive answer on the beast. What we really need is um, a body, preferably a live one, captured on the moor. And then, um, you know, the myth can well and truly be laid to rest. The Ministry of Agriculture says it's watching the zoo's findings with interest, but it would only reopen its own investigation if there were to be an upsurge in attacks on local livestock in Bodmin. The latest evidence, though, suggests this may well be the face of the beast of Bodmin Moor. Samira Ahmed, BBC News at London Zoo.